Hi everyone, John here. Welcome back to Topo Talk. In this session, I want to talk about a couple of examples that have popped up recently on the Discord channel, and both of them involve using the shrink wrap modifier. The first is this part to a razor mouse. And if I just change this to matcap and just hide the wireframe, the issue was these little bumps that are happening in these corners here. It's a little bit tricky to see depending on the angle. You can see it there. See that's sort of popping up there. And this is happening because obviously it was very smooth when this section was created, but after cutting out this section here, it's introduced this issue. And this is where shrink wrap can be really helpful. You can see it quite clearly there. And you'd think that we could, you know, take one of these verts and, you know, we could move it a little bit up or down just to fine tune and remove that issue. But this kind of stuff is really difficult to get right. And you can end up making it worse. And for this kind of thing, I like to use shrink wrap. So it's very easy. What we'll do is come down to our modifiers and add a shrink wrap. And the target is the version of this that hasn't had this section cut out. So I'll just turn that back off and just drag that into the target. And watch what happens to those corners when I do that. See how they get pulled down? So now it's looking really good. Let's have a look at it in MacCap. And that issue has completely gone. So what you do now is you would apply the shrink wrap and you know then you could keep going with the model. So this workflow using shrink wrap is really common for these kinds of things. And especially things like cars where you have a lot of different panels, you know, aircraft. When you split things off, it's quite easy to introduce those kind of normal errors. And having the shrink wrap, being able to shrink wrap back onto the original shape can control all of those things. So this is another example from the Discord channel. This is a crown. This has also got that little bump on this corner. And it happens right around the model on each of these corners. There's a few issues going on here with this particular geometry. And we can use shrink wrap to definitely help us fix it. But what we also need to do is add more geometry. So let me just turn that off. And I'll just come back to studio. So there's a few things going on here. This has had the sharpening loops put in. And you can see it's created some end gons by adding these loops down here. There's a couple of end gons there, which is inherently not a problem. But you can see we've got these long polygons as well. Let me just turn this back on. See how that's pulling that control loop down and the tension is all wrong. So a couple of things we have to do here. First thing we have to do is add some more geometry. And the second thing in order to control these bumps is to use a shrink wrap. So what I've done is I've gone through and just deleted most of the crown because once everything is correct here, then you can go ahead and build the rest of the crown. But if this is wrong to start with, then it's going to be very difficult to come back and fix these problems, especially with a shrink wrap. So what I've done is created a cone and you know just by using shift a mesh and choosing cone and created quite a high res version of that cone, right? But we're not going to use that to shrink wrap just yet because we have to add some more geometry to this. So I'll just hide that. And I want to subdivide this. So if I just choose subdivision surface, obviously it's going to round that out. Now we could use simple, but I want to um, keep this smooth, but I want to keep these points sharp. So I'm going to tab, hit one, and I'm going to select that one and that one. Then shift control plus on the numpad just to select them all. And same for here and here. Shift control plus on the numpad just to skip one and select the other one. And now I'm going to use vert crease. So N and mean vertex crease, just make that one. 
Okay, so that makes that nice and sharp. I'm going to subdivide this to a level of two. You can see that's what we're going to get as a result. And apply. So now we've got that, and we've still got these nice sharp points because of the mean vertex crease. So they're all still selected. So I'm just going to make that zero. We don't need that anymore. So now we can add the shrink wrap. So add modifier shrink wrap. And for target, I'm going to choose cone. And you can see how that's sticking to that cone now. And it's nice and smooth. We haven't got any errors whatsoever. Now, obviously, if I subdivide this now, subdivision surface, it does round these out a little bit. So depending on your taste, what you could do is just come down and GG just to slide these verts down. And we can do this because we've got enough geometry. Control R to add in a loop cut and E just to make that even. Put that right up like that. Grab the knife tool and just extend that one like that and that one like that. Select this one. Now I've tried doing a limited dissolve just by hitting delete and choosing limited dissolve, but that doesn't dissolve it for some reason. I'm not sure why. Um, so the other way would be to select both of those and just choose tries to quads. And that works. So you'd have to work your way all the way around. And of course you could use a radial array, just do one corner and then just array that around. If we just turn that subdivision surface back on and bring that up to two tab. You can see if we just go into Mac cap, you can see how it's all looking really clean and we've completely removed that error. So once again, what you do is you would apply the shrink wrap modifier and then you'd continue to build the rest of the crown. All right, so I use shrink wrap all the time in my work and that's a couple of good examples of how you can use shrink wrap to control those kind of normal errors. As usual, leave a comment if you have any observations or questions. For now, this is John. I'll see you in another Topo Talk.